Welcome to the Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. I'm Mo Rocca, and we're about to turn your world upside down. Coming up, pulling power from a slow flow. Printing an ear that can help you hear. Buttoning up to get out the vote. And ditching the down to get balmy with bison. That's next on the Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. The term going with the flow usually means that you're just kind of drifting along, not making any waves, being all zen. Well, soon that phrase will have a new meaning. Going with the flow could actually give you great power. Here's Ali Ward to explain. People have used water to power processes like grist mills for thousands of years. And in the past two centuries, engineers figured out more sophisticated ways to harness energy from water with the use of dams and turbines, creating what is known as hydroelectric power. Today, this man's very modern solution is a whole lot smaller than a dam and more portable too. While a dam can provide power for a city, his smaller solution could power homes or neighborhoods. I went north to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I met innovator Ted Christopher to learn more. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We are downtown Minneapolis. This is the Mississippi River, and this particular area is St. Anthony Falls. Ted grew up in Minnesota with a reverence for the lakes and streams and an awareness of the currents that run beneath the surface. He became determined to find a modern, ecologically friendly, versatile way to harness river power. And the result is the Volturnus turbine. Conventional hydro has been the dominant form of renewable energy in this country since the early days of it, actually. In fact, downtown Minneapolis was powered by hydropower during the 18-1900s. What's different about Volturnus is that it's an individual device that deploys directly into rivers. So you don't have to build a big dam. You don't have to build any big infrastructure. When I think of hydroelectric power, I think of that water wheel, that old mill style. How is this different from that? First of all, it's the orientation of the axis. So those are spinning this way, like a conventional windmill almost. Volturnus is different because it's got a vertical axis, so it's spinning this way, and that's to enable that really low profile so it can fit into shallower waters. It's a very big difference. Back in his office, Ted has this one six scale model of a Volturnus turbine. As the water comes, there's a little bit of a head that gets built up, so the water rises just a little bit and then collapses down through. And that collapse down through allows us to harness not just the velocity of the water, but also the weight of it. So it's a little mini waterfall. In practical application, would you have several of these in a river? Yeah, they're deployed in arrays. So each individual Volturnus is deployed with four others, and we call it a V-pot. While currently dealing with these smaller size test models, each commercial scale Volturnus turbine will be about the size of a small fishing boat three meters in diameter and about four feet tall. That means the turbines could be submerged in oceans, man-made canals and rivers with real world deployment projected for 2018. Look, I'm making power. This is amazing. So if I were a river, I would just be... Going 24 seven. Right, and how much power does say a home take? A home takes about 1.2 kilowatts. Okay. That's its average usage. The V-Pod will make 50 kilowatts, so that will be enough to power 20 to 40 average U.S. homes. What? Even if they watch a lot of Saturday morning television? Especially if they watch <laughs> a lot of Saturday morning television. Ding! When we come back, getting nosy with 3D printing, pushing president's buttons way before Twitter, and fighting the freeze with hair from the prairie. But first, it's time for The Mo You Know. One of the most popular products in soft drink history is Coca-Cola. So, for how much was the original recipe for the bubbly drink sold? Was it A, $23, B, $230, or C, $2,300? You sip on those choices, and we'll tell you which one is the real thing after a break.